Hello all, welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net. So far we have been talking about the four divisions, basic input and output statements in COBOL. In this session we are going to talk about the variables. If you take COBOL, all the variables will come to the data division. Under data division you have got file section, working storage section, linkage section and screen section. The working storage section is the one where we place the variables. And variables are of the types scalar variables, array variables and then records. There are three types. Scalar variables are the ones which can hold only one value. Arrays are, are the ones which can hold multiple values of the same type. For example, it can hold 100 integers or 100 strings, something like that. Whereas records can hold multiple values of multiple types. So in this session, let us see scalar. The scalar variables in uh, COBOL, there is something called a level. This is the eighth column. The variables definition needs to start from the A margin, which is the eighth column. Every variable must have a level number. This level number for scalar variable is 77. If you ask me why 77, it is, uh, it's, I don't know, but that's how they have defined. 77 is the one level number, then you have to give a space. Then we normally have a convention, WS stands for working storage hyphen the variable name. We don't just give the variable name as A, B, something like that. We give WS hyphen A. The variables must start with an alphabet. They can have hyphen. Unlike C other than other languages, it cannot have underscore. So it can have only hyphen. And it can have subsequently alphanumeric characters, but no punctuations other than hyphen allowed. It should start with an alphabet. And there is something called picture class. Picture, you can either say picture or PIC itself is enough. But this picture class is the one that determines the type of the variable. This is the name of the variable. Following the picture, what is coming is the type. When I say type 9, okay, it means integer. Suppose I have another variable, okay, 77 WSB, I can say picture or simply say PIC. If I say A, then it means alphabet. The picture variable, when I say 9, it can have only one digit. If I want this to have two digits, then I should say 99. Nine. Suppose I need an alphabetic variable which can purely contain only alphabets, then I can say, suppose if you want five alphabetic characters, I have to say A, 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 A. So each A is a definition, like this is like it can hold five alphabetic characters. Suppose I want to have a variable that can have alpha numeric, then you have to say WSC picture x. Suppose I want to have 10 positions. The width has to be 10 characters. Either you can say x, 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 x like that or, or you can say x of 10 within brackets. This also I can do instead of 9, 9, I can always say 9 of 2. Instead of a and then followed by 5 a's, I can say a of 5. So this is easier way to define. So it this means two digits. This means three alphabets. This means 10 alpha numeric characters. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to accept these variables. Now let us watch this. So I take this accept WSA then accept WSB, WSC. Let us do that. WSC, right? So now I save this file. So there are three variables we have defined. Remember in variables, if it is a scalar variable, level number is 77. You can either spell it out as picture or you can simply say PIC. 9 stands for numeric, A stands for alphabetic, X stands for alphanumeric. Within brackets, whatever you say, it is the length of it. Now I have defined this. Let me compile this. As usual, you give an error list file. Whether it has errors, you need to define it. Let us see what happens. Okay. Type error dot lst. It says no errors or warnings, which is good. Now let us execute this. 
Now I am going to execute this one. It is saying allow world. Now it is expecting. Now the first one is the numeric variable. So I type 4, enter. The second one is the alphabetic A. Now the third one I want to enter A12. It's accepting those values. Now if I want to print this, okay, again you can, you can use display, display WSA, display WSB, display WSC, you can do that. Let us try to run it once again. The first one is the numeric variable. Now I am trying to enter A, D, it says invalid numeric input because WS hyphen A is a numeric variable. I type D so it is not accepting it. So let me say 2. Okay, it accepts. The second one is the alphabetic variable. Now I type 2, it will say it will not accept that. The issue is WSB A of 5. So you need to be very careful whenever you are giving a wrong input to the uh, fields. If you want to display these things, simply say display WSA, display WSA. Same way display WSB, WSC, you can compile it. Then make sure every time make sure there is no errors. Then execute. Now I am executing. First I am typing 23. Then I am typing uh, how. Third one I am typing A123. Then it will print it. But before you display and then you have to type something to exit out so the prompt may go off pretty fast so you need to make sure that you need to though you display that after that i need to accept something so that the screen stays in this session we have seen what is a, what are the types of variables scalar array records and what is the level number the definition of variables are numeric alphabetic and alphanumeric with that we stop this session thank you